Ernie, Damper. What do you think about when it comes My to nephew, Damper? My nephew, that was his name, Damper. Damper, really. Yeah, that was his nickname, <laughs> Damper. Yeah. What, as in that he put a dampener on things or that no, he no. liked Damper? I think it was he liked Damper. He liked Damper. Mm. Well, you've got to show me somebody who doesn't like Damper. I think we all do. Uh -huh. um, Aussie, to the core, basically. That's what everybody wants to learn how to make. So today, I thought we would share just a really basic, very simple, easy recipe to make damper. Mm -hmm. So I have got some self-raising flour, <clears throat> which is all you need. You that's don't, where you, you don't need that, anything else, it's just self-raising. Self-raising self flour. Now you can add all sorts of different things, but this basic recipe is two cups of self-raising flour, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, or oil of any type, mm -hmm. and some salt and water. So, no lemonade, no beer? No, you, but you can. Mm -hmm. You can if you want to, but I'm just going to uh, no it right back, back to basics. No egg? No egg. Back no, to milk. basics. No milk. Put milk on the top to make a nice crust. Oh, you can do. You can do. You can well, do anything you like, but we're just going to keep it basic and very simple in today. It. Yes. So we're going to, um, as it so happens, my little tin pannikin here is actually about one cup. About. About one <laughs> cup. That's right. I love that about. Okay, now we've got two cups of flour in here. So we just need to put in a, if you've got ordinary salt, just a good pinch of salt, but I'm going to put in a, a good grinding of salt. So we've got our salt in there. We just need to mix that around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mix it in and then create a well the in well. the middle. The well, yes. We've also got some oil, Ernie. Uh -huh. So I've just got about two tablespoons worth of olive oil in there. Now oh, you, really? I thought it was you, some oil. <laughs> that's not now that got It be, doesn't you, look that well, bad. No. <laughs> um, you can use butter, but you mm -hmm. need to rub the butter through the flour if yep. you're going to use butter. Um, you can use all other types of oils as well if you would like to. But uh, we're just going to pour the oil into the bowl. Into, West the, into the well. Oil. Yes, absolutely. Oil's in. Oil's now we in. need some water. So my way of adding the water is that I've got like nearly 500 mils of water here. You don't need that much. You just need to pour in a little bit, then start mixing your ingredients in. So you can see that it's starting to come together quite mm -hmm. nicely. But uh, it's up to you if you think that it's going to be too dry. Just add a dash more water, but that actually looks like it's going to be pretty good. And the way that you can find out is to actually get your hands in there and just give it a squeeze. So that's kind of sticking together. Probably just a tat, just a touch, just a touch. A touch more. dry, yeah. Yeah, a little bit more. So you can see how it's all starting to come together. Look, all of that beautiful dough all stuck together in one one big ball mm -hmm. now that when it comes to making damper is about all you want to do when you're playing with it before you actually cook it damper doesn't like being mm. kneaded you yeah. just need to play with it as bread little does. as possible bread loves to be kneaded yes mm. damper doesn't we've got our perfect fluffy dough here mm -hmm. we just need to add a little bit of Flour, flour to on our the table. surface, dough onto our floured surface, mm -hmm. and just make it into whatever shape you want. Now you can leave it just exactly like that, and you can cook it into a nice cob loaf, or you can cut it up into pieces. You can make it into little individual little bites. You can put it into a loaf tin. You can You're going overboard now. The damper is just, just, the, just it's you know. A, this is the simple paired back version. Let's just do the so nice simple this version. This is it. Now we just need a tray. Now this is just a little uh, pizza tray, aluminium pizza tray. It's really, really nice and light, but it works perfectly inside the hillbilly camp oven. And I'm going to yep. put some spray oil on. Yeah, Which with the I've, new pump also, so you're not chucking new... away too many aerosol cans. I know, that's wash. right. How awesome is that? Mm -hmm. Look, oh, just look perfect. Yes, I'm quite happy with that little addition to my camp you're cooking set. You're a gadget girl. I am too, right. I now, am too. Okay. Now, that goes straight onto there. 
you can pat it out a little bit if you want to but it will rise and expand anyway so it's uh, basically that's all you need to do so I'm just going to go and check the temperature in the camp oven mm -hmm. Ernie and by doing that I just need to put the handle on and have a look on the inside here oh. and I've got my little temperature gauge in here got your little gauge in there I do. which of course now that I've got a gloved hand on it is very much more difficult to pick up than when it was cold and it's saying that it's around about 150 ish degrees in there which will be just perfect to put our damper in so if you would like I'll pop that in there beautiful put the lid on and my favourite number is? Oh no, probably a little bit longer than 15 oh. minutes this time. More than About 15. 20 minutes. Well, cup tea's made, jam's ready. Uh huh, what about Let's this one? Let's go see how the damper is going. On with the gloves again. I love I love these reveals because you know you put the lid on there you sort of work around about a rough time you have a peep every now and then but then you mate look at that that's a lovely big scone oh, I know it is isn't it that's going to be oh, so nice scone. so nice with some jam on it too absolutely look at that I mean, my uncle used to have this expression and oi, bloomin' kids, I eat a lot of bread. Bloke ought to make a damper and make it stick to their ribs. <laughs> well, it is. It's stick good to, to my stick ribs. To your That's ribs right, to Uncle food. Steve. So, listen Ooh. to that. Yes, tan on the bottom and tan on the top. Nice and hot. Now mm. all we have to do is cut it don't, up. Don't, don't look. It. This, it's, this is anticipation is surely, killing me. Surely I have um, tempted you enough. Look at that. Beautiful, crunchy on the outside, soft and warm in the middle, just she perfect. She loves doing this, she knows I'm starving. <laughs> I just need to drag it out a little oh, bit more. No. Okay, some nice just jam. Just slap some jam Oh, look at there. that. Would you like some damper with your jam, Ernie? Yes, just a little bit of damper <laughs> with my jam. There you are. Give I'll be that a go. for this for over a half an hour. <laughs> Good breakfast, isn't it? Yep. I've done it again. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my ribs. Oh, excellent, that's mm -hmm. good. That's what I like to hear. All right, good job. Now we can. Cheers, big ears. Yep, sit down and enjoy the river. Mm-hmm.